Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the Oxygen OS firmware on any OnePlus phone. So this will come in handy if you want to go from any custom ROM to a stock ROM or if your phone is currently stuck in a boot loop or a soft break state, then also you could flash the firmware and get your phone up and running. Apart from that, if you want to do a downgrade, then also you must simply flash the firmware, the old firmware using this tool. So with that in mind, also keep note that you cannot use this tool if your phone is currently heartbreak. In other words, if your phone can only boot to EDL mode, then this tool will not work. Apart from that, this tool will work in every other scenario. If you can access the OS or if you can only access the fast boot or the fast boot D mode, that's also fine. So usually up until now, I am using a OnePlus 11 phone and I had to always use the EDL flashing tool to go back to stock ROM but for the past few days both the Oppo flash tool and Oppo flash tool have been patched by Oppo and they are currently not working so I found this new tool using which you could flash the stock firmware and easily go back to stock so with that in mind please take a backup of all the data on your phone if possible and then let's get started so I have tried this on a OnePlus 11, 12 and 13 and I could verify that they are working across all these three phones so they should also work across the OnePlus 11R, 12R, 13R, they should work on those phones as well and even the older OnePlus phone, it might work. I am not quite sure but it should work. So with that said, let me first show you some of the features of this tool. So this is the tool over here. And let me launch the fastboot firmware flasher tool. And in the first tab is just a welcome to home screen. In the second tab you have the option, go to the info tab and it will show you the phone name, model, firmware, region for that you have to enable USB debugging, I'll show you that as well. In the third tab you have to then, if you require you could install the fastboot drivers from here as well and hit the test driver button to verify if the drivers have been installed or not. Then next up you could easily do a reboot to the fastboot, fastboot D recovery mode from here. All these for the ADB command and these are for the fastboot commands. In the fastboot mode as well you could reboot to the fastboot, fastboot D to the recovery and to the OS. Next up you could open the CMD window inside the platform tools directory. You don't need to download platform tools. It will, it also has inbuilt platform tools and it will open the CMD inside that platform tools as you could see. So inside the fastboot fl firmware flasher it has its own platform tools wherein the CMD window will open. Then, okay, apart from that, you have the option to use the kernel issue patcher and obtain root via the kernel issue. I will make a separate guide on this as well. So stay tuned. Then next up, we have the option to flash the boot, init boot for the root or the a custom recovery like TWRP as well in the recovery partition. Then finally, are the next two important slots. In this, you could load the firmware and then flash it, the firmware from this section. So these two are the sections which we will be using right now. So with that in mind, please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, okay, you may skip the first step that's not required. The second step is requiring USB debugging and only you could enable that if your phone can boot to the OS. If your phone cannot boot to the OS, it's not a cause of concern. Simply long press the power key to power it off. Then press and hold the power and the volume down keys and your phone will then boot to the fast boot mode. In case you can access the OS, then it's quite easy. Simply Go to the settings menu, then go to about phone, tap on build number seven times. Then go to system and developer options and enable USB debugging. Tap on OK. And if you get one more prompt, again tap on allow and with that, the debugging is enabled. So you may then simply open the CMD window from here itself from the tool and type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now reboot into fast boot mode in a few seconds. Okay, let me show you the link for the tool as well. I forgot that. So next up, once you are inside the fastboot mode, you could then download the fastboot drivers as well. So for that, you could first verify. So type in fastboot devices and please verify that you are getting an ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you'll have to install fastboot drivers. For that, you could refer to my guide and install the drivers. Then right click on the window icon and choose device manager then expand the Android phone section. And make sure that your phone is being shown here as Android booter interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that your PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode. And we are now good to go ahead. So moving on, you will now have to get hold of the firmware file for your phone via the Oxygen Updater app or any 
थर्ड पार्टी साइज ऑफ चॉइस इन माई केस आई ऑलरेडी हैव द फॉर्मवेयर इट्स अराउंड सिक्स टू सेवन जी बी इन साइज लेट मी शो यू दैट जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकेंड सो द रॉम फाइल इज समथिंग अलॉन्ग द फॉलोइंग लाइन सी पी एच टू फोर फोर सेवन इट्स द एंड्रॉड फिफ्टीन बिल्ड सो आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस इट्स अ जिप फाइल इन साइड जिप फाइल एज यू ऑलरेडी अवेयर इट्स अ पेलोड बिन विच द टूल विल एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड फ्लैश ऑन टू योर फोन सो आई ऑलरेडी हैव दिस फॉर्मवेयर फाइल सो नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज मूविंग ऑन यू विल नाउ हैव टू गेट होल्ड ऑफ द फास्ट फ्लैश फॉर्मवेयर टूल सो गेट होल्ड ऑफ द टूल एंड एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑन टू यू पी सी अपॉन एक्सट्रैक्शन यू विल गेट अ फ्यू फाइल्स यू विल देन हैव टू इंस्टॉल इट एज वेल सो जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकेंड कॉम्प्रेस एंड दिस इज द टूल एक्सट्रैक्टेड एंड देन लॉन्च द एक्सी फाइल एंड देन इंस्टॉल द टूल ऑन एनी लोकेशन इन माई केस आई डन सो इन द सी ड्राइव only as you could see once you have inst installed the tool launch the tool via the exe file the fast boot firmware flash exe file and the tool will take you to the home page as you could see over here we are currently in the home page now what you have to do is straight away go to the second last tab which is the firmware unpacker tab and click on file picker then from here choose the firmware zip file you don't have to choose the payload bin file you have to choose the firmware zip file choose it click on open and it will show the firmware information after that select the full mode from here because we are using the full firmware and not the incremental oda okay one more thing is highly recommended or rather it's compulsory to go with the full mode and not the incremental oda keep this point in mind then finally click on press to unpack and it will make a new folder by the name of firmware and unpack all the partition img file as you could see in the bootloader then in the critical partitions as well as the system partition it will automatically make these three folder and unpack all these files this might take some time around 10 to 15 minutes in my case i have already done the extraction so just hit on press to unpack and you will see a window along the following lines as you could see it will extract all these files in the cmd window using i guess python and once the extraction is done you will get a message that the unpacking is now complete as you could see so click on close Once the unpacking is done, click on close, and now you could go to the flashing tab, and from here you may simply hit the press to flash button, and the flashing will now start. It will boot your phone to the fast boot mode once again, which is completely normal, and the flashing should now start. And you could see the progress bar at the bottom; it's a small bar, and you could also keep a tab on the log output window. As you could see, it will now flash each of the files in the partition window, and the flashing will take up to around 10 minutes. So let's just wait for that to happen. In the meantime, as soon as the phone boots to the fast boot D mode, I will show you that as well. So please don't use the phone in the fast boot D mode as well. Let's wait for that, and then I'll show you what I mean. So guys, once the flashing in the fast boot mode is complete, you will get a prompt that the tool will now boot your phone to the fast boot D mode. The tool will get this job done. You don't have to do anything. Just click on OK. As soon as you do so, your phone will automatically reboot into the fast boot D mode. As you could see, rebooting into fast boot D. and it might take a few seconds for that to happen so let's just wait and then i'll show you what next has to be done so it might take up to around 10 to 15 seconds for that to happen which is completely normal and nothing to worry about once it's in the fast boot d mode you will get one more prompt in the tool so again you have to click on okay and then proceed ahead with the rest of the flashing so as you could see this is the screen you are getting has your phone rebooted into fast boot d mode press no if not press yes to proceed to second stage so in my case it's in the fast boot d mode you could hit the yes button and the flashing is now starting in the fast boot d mode if you want you may change the language to english but let's keep it that way only we will do so at the end as of now please do not interact with the phone the tool will take care of all the flashing it is now flashing the critical partitions in the fast boot d mode the logical partitions and once that is done we will then show you what needs to be done after that so for the time being let's just wait so guys the flashing is now complete as you could see over here now it's compulsory to do a reset do not skip that please so select the english language and now tap on format data you will now have to type in the verification code which in my case is 4255 it will be different for you as soon as you type the code you will get the prompt tap on format it will now wipe the data and when that is done tap on okay and you may also hit the reboot device option from here or your phone will automatically reboot to the os as soon as you do the formatting and the first boot up will take up some time which is completely normal and nothing to worry about i will not 
cut the video here i will show you the entire boot up just to verify and as you could see this is the boot animation so the flashing has been done successfully and you may now click on ok and close the tool as you could see all the files have been flashed over here in the fast boot and the fast boot d mode to start off it flashed the files in the fast boot mode and after that it, it will automatically boot your phone to the fast boot d mode you just have to click on ok button and once it's in the fast boot d mode you it will flash all these files and after that your last course of action is just to do a format data and then boot to the os and as you could see we are now inside the latest oxygen os 15 based on android 15 i have flashed the latest android 15 build you may flash any build of your choice so regarding this i will have to discuss one more thing as well just give me a second let me skip all of this stuff and then i will take you to the os directly so let's accept the terms and condition and let's go and with this we are now inside the os this is the settings menu and about device so we are on the oxygen os 15 so regarding the downloading of the firmware you may either use the oxygen updated app but if you cannot use that app then apart from that you also have the option to download the firmware from a third party site but while doing so you will get the access denied error message for example this is a url of the rom if you try to download as you could see you are getting this prompt so in this case you could refer to my guide and bypass this issue via two methods via the browser or the terminal window and get this job done if you are using a website then you may use this guide to bypass this issue or you may always use the oxygen updater app to get hold of the firmware as well and always upload the entire firmware zip file and not the payload bin file in the tool so only the second last and the last portion of the tool are of use so from the second last tool click on firm file picker upload the firmware click on full press to unpack and the unpacking will take up to around 10 minutes and then you will get a prompt after which click on ok then go to the flashing tab and from here just hit the press to flash the flashing will start in the fastboot and the fastboot d mode after which you have to do a reset and your task stands complete so guys on that note i don't know this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching